On April 8th, the great American eclipse of 2024 will cross over seven U.S. locations named Nineveh. Michael Snyder reports, I'm going to share something truly amazing with you in this article. And once again, a lot of naysayers out there will dismiss it as a coincidence that really does not mean anything. But how is it possible that such a vast number of coincidences just happened to take place in April 2024? Last Friday, I told my course supporters about an amazing discovery regarding how the sun, the moon, and the seven other planets in our solar system will be aligned during the Great American Eclipse on April 8. Planetary Alignment In this article, I'm going to focus on seven specific locations that are named Nineveh, which just happen to fall within the path of the Great American Eclipse on April 8. Let me start by going back almost seven years. On August 21st, 2017, the first Great American Eclipse made headlines all over the nation. It was also known as the Seven Salem Eclipse because the path of that eclipse crossed over seven U.S. locations named Salem. Salem, Oregon, Salem, Idaho, Salem, Wyoming, Salem, Nebraska, Salem, Missouri, Salem, Kentucky, Salem, South Carolina. Salem is short for Jerusalem. Salem means peace, and that is why so many early Americans chose that name for their communities. And now the second great American eclipse is almost here, and the path of that eclipse will cross over seven U.S. locations named Nineveh. Nineveh, Texas, Nineveh, Missouri, Nineveh, Indiana, Nineveh, Ohio, Nineveh, Pennsylvania, Nineveh, Georgia, Virginia, Nineveh, New York. The eclipse will also cross over a location named Nineveh in the province of Nova Scotia and Canada. So that's why you sometimes see a list of eight Ninevehs on social media. In some of these locations, residents will be able to view a total solar eclipse, and in others, only a partial solar eclipse will be able to be viewed. So what do we know about Nineveh? Well, Genesis chapter 10 tells us that Nineveh was built by Nimrod, and I think that is very noteworthy. In addition, Wikipedia tells us that the path of the Bur Segali eclipse crossed over Nineveh on June 15, 763 BC. The Assyrian eclipse, also known as the Bur Segali eclipse, is a solar eclipse recorded in Assyrian eponym lists that most likely dates to the 10th year of the reign of King Ashur Dan III, the eclipse is identified with the one that occurred on 15th of June 763 BC in the proleptic Julian calendar. Some believe that the Burr Sagali eclipse happened at the same time that Jonah was in Nineveh, warning the population that the city would be destroyed. The prophet Jonah that was uh, eaten by the whale. Uh, so the Bar the Bur Sagali eclipse occurred over the Assyrian capital city of Nineveh in the middle of the reign of Jeroboam the II, who ruled Israel from 786 to 746 BC. According to 2 Kings 1425, the prophet Jonah lived and prophesied in Jeroboam's reign. The biblical scholar Donald Wiseman has speculated that the eclipse took place around when Jonah arrived in Nineveh and urged the people to repent, otherwise the city would be destroyed. This would explain the dramatic repentance of the people of Nineveh as described in the book of Jonah. Ancient cultures, including Assyria, viewed eclipses as omens of imminent destruction, and the empire was in chaos at this time, struggling with revolts famines, and two separate outbreaks of the plague. I can understand how the appearance of such an eclipse could have been seen as strong confirmation of Jonah's message to the people of Nineveh. Now a historic solar eclipse of our own is here, but instead of crossing over just one Nineveh, our solar eclipse will be crossing over seven Ninevehs. And that's being reported that it's being reported the Great American Eclipse of 2024 will be the most viewed astronomical event in all of U.S. history. Interestingly, out of more than 19,000 cities, towns, and villages in the United States, the very first community in the United States that the path of the eclipse will touch will be Eagle Pass, Texas. 
Of course, Eagle Pass, Texas has become ground zero for national immigration crisis. Residents in the border a city in Texas have revealed how police and National Guard troops have taken over, seizing their properties as migrants trash lines uh, the, the streets. Eagle Pass, which is home to 25,500 Texans, has become the ground zero in the country wide political fight as swaths of lawmakers celebrate and celebrities and journalists flock to give their two cents over the ever swelling migrant border crisis. Illegal migrants crossing has uh, overwhelmed nearly every sector in Eagle Pass, but state and federal responses have too, weary residents say. The Del Rio sector, including Eagle Pass, reported 16,718 migrants arrested in January. The issue has become exacerbated under Joe Biden, and the southern border has witnessed a record of at least 6.3 million migrants crossing since he took office. Is this just another coincidence? There is one more thing about the month of April that I want to mention. In late April, billions of 13-year Chicadas and billions of 17-year Chicadas will start emerging from the ground simultaneously for the first time since Thomas Jefferson was president. This spring, two different broods of Chicadas that live in, on the 13-year cycle and other live, lives, that lives on a 17-year cycle will emerge at the same time from underground in a rare synchronized event that last occurred in 1803. Billions of the winged insects will make an appearance across the Midwest and the Southeast, beginning in some places in late April. For a raucous mating ritual that tends to inspire fascination and annoyance in equal measure, this year's dual emergence is a once-in-a-lifetime event. While any given 13-year brood and 17-year brood can occasionally emerge at the same time, each Pacific pair will see their cycles aligned only once every 221 years, and what's more, this year's Chicada groups known as Brood 13 and Brood 14 happen to make their homes adjacent to one another with a narrow overlap in central Illinois. A narrow overlap in central Illinois? That's odd because the path of the Great American Eclipse of 2017 and the path of the Great American Eclipse of 2024 just happened to intersect in Illinois. The giant X over America is being formed by the past of those two eclipses, and that giant X will finally be completed on April 8. There's so much more about these two eclipses in my most recent book titled Chaos, but as I stated here, I'm not anticipating that any particular event will happen on April 8th. Rather, I believe that what we will witness on April 8th is a sign and a warning for the entire nation. Just like the city of Nineveh in the ancient world, we're being given an opportunity to change direction. We will take advantage of that opportunity. Will we take advantage or will we ignore it? And this is on End of the American Dream by Michael Snyder. And this is by Michael Snyder. He says about the author, my name is Michael. Michael Snyder, extremely controversial new book entitled Chaos, available on paperback and for Kindle on Amazon. He's also written seven other books that are available on Amazon, including End Times, Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Future of America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters, Commissions Earned. When you purchase any of Michael's books, you help to support the work that he's doing. You can also get his articles by email as soon as he publishes them by subscribing to his Substack newsletter. Michael has published thousands of articles on Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, Most Important News, and he always freely and happily allows others to republish his articles on their own websites. You can connect with Michael on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and sharing his articles on your own social media accounts is definitely a great job, great help. These are such troubled times that people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, we strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. 
thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.